How's it going guys? Fallen Ninja here. Today we're going to do another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gun review. In today's video we're going to talk about the XR2 Assault Rifle. Now this gun, what can I say about this gun besides the fact that it's like a love-hate relationship? I love it sometimes and I hate it other times. Now I like to compare this gun to a very fast car with uh, shitty brakes. Uh, that's because it's really good at doing one thing, but it's really bad at doing other stuff. Now, real quickly, let's go into the damage of the gun. It starts at 40 and then drops down to 30 after you pass 38 meters. Um, so the shots to kill, you're looking right at three round burst or uh, a one burst, and then it drops down to two burst if the enemy is, is past 38 meters. Now, the good thing about this gun is that if you pull long barrel, that really greatly extends the short range damage to 76 meters. If you guys don't know how long that is, let me show you here in this quick video. As you guys can see, at this distance, without long barrel, uh, you're going to get the uh, the kill with one burst. After that, it's going to be two bursts. But if you have the long barrel on, look how far away you can do that one burst kill, which is very beneficial. And most of the time, at that point, you are going to be getting headshots because just the gun's going to kick up. And you're going to get those free headshots as well. That, that really does help. And that's why this gun is really good. I mean, if you use this gun between those ranges, a 38 meter or with long barrel 76, and you have... Uh, that, that good aim and good accuracy and you get that one burst and all rounds hit you're gonna get a lot of fast kills I actually found myself getting super easy kills uh, a lot of the times and then uh, uh, this gun is really really good it's really really powerful actually it actually has the highest time to kill that's because the rate of fire in this gun is actually pretty high it's 857 rounds per minute if you put rapid fire on you're gonna get a thousand rounds down range per minute uh, the, the time to kill like I was saying earlier is pretty fast it's actually the fastest in the assault rifle category as long as you're within the the range that I was talking about earlier and all your hits land if they do not hit or if they're past that range the time to kill jumps out to 0 0.41 of a second which is actually the second slowest uh, time to kill that's why this gun is good sometimes and bad sometimes because if you get those rounds in you're gonna love it you're gonna get easy kills but if if you miss a shot or if the enemy is too far away you're gonna have a hard time especially with those uh, those guys with sniper rifles or those better suited uh, assault rifles and let's briefly talk about the headshot multiplier in this gun so if you shoot a bad guy in the head and uh, the damage is going to be 44 points of damage per headshot so that's going to be a three shot kill if you shoot him in the head at close range further range is going to be four shot kill to, to to kill the bad guy so that's still going to be the same as shooting them in the body so it doesn't really affect anything um of course if you have high caliber the damage is going to be 60 to 45 so two shots in the head at close range is going to get them and then uh, after after close range, if you get three shots in the head, which is probably going to be impossible, you're looking at a, a three shot kill. So it's still one burst. It's actually really good. Um, but like I said, this gun does kick up a little bit. So every time you shoot the gun, I, I found myself getting free headshots constantly just because of the way the gun kicked up. Um, so I, I really wouldn't recommend high caliber, but I would definitely recommend you get long barrel on this gun. Long barrel, and I also want to say rapid fire. That way the delay between the bursts is actually a little bit faster. Because sometimes I did catch myself dying only because I shot the enemy. Uh, I hit him with only two out of, the, out of the three bullets from the burst. And then they quickly turned around and got me before I could get the second burst off. I really did enjoy my time with this gun and getting all the camos and leveling it up all the way to the top. Uh, one thing I do want to say is that you really have to change your playstyle. You can't really run and gun as much as you would you would with a different rifle or even a submachine gun. You need to slow down quite a bit. You probably have to use awareness so you can hear enemy footsteps and bring up your sights before you even see them. That really does help in those close quarter situations, so you really have to slow down. Now the good thing about having that nice one burst kill is that sometimes when you're going up against a, a group of enemies, uh, let's say two or three guys, and uh, they're not lined up but they're next to each other, if you can quickly get round, run burst off and kill that one guy and then move the sights over to the other guy and get the other burst off and you hit all six shots on, on the bad guys, you're going to get a lot of double kills, which I, I tend to get a lot with this gun. A lot of double, triple kills whenever the enemies are, are stacked up together. Another good thing about this gun is that it has a real nice iron sights. I never felt the need to have any sort of red dot or uh, long distance sight, which it does help, being honest with you, if you have a recon sight on there. It helps with the recoil a little bit, and it does uh, help you get those long distance shots. But being honest with you, I, I didn't really need to use a, a, a sight, and uh, I found that point more useful somewhere else, whether it be a new perk or perhaps another attachment. And that's pretty much it. 
guys, like I said, this gun, pretty much to sum it up, it's actually the best gun in terms of time to kill in the assault rifle category. And at the same time, it's almost the worst. So it all depends on how many shots you land at one time and, and what your accuracy is looking like. I do recommend you guys to give this gun a try. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you guys want to watch a previous gun review, you can go ahead and click on the picture on the left. It's going to be the KN44, which is a, a decent gun. And if you want to watch the next one, it's going to be the HVK30 right there on the right side. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.